Good morning, people. It's uh, been a while since I've updated a video for you guys, and uh, usually you see me in the garage working on my truck, and I've kind of come to a stalemate on it right now because I'm deciding on what um, front suspension I want to go with. So until I decide that, I need to find out a way to generate some content for you guys. And uh, I was thinking, I was out with my uh, brother-in-law last night, and I was using this new uh, product for, it's part of my EDC now. In case you don't know what EDC is, it's uh, your everyday carry. So, you know, like your cell phone and your wallet, for example, for me personally, I have my cell phone with me all the time. Uh, obviously my wallet, very slim line. I like having everything very lightweight and slim. Carry a pocket knife, again, slim. It's a little disposable Kershaw. Uh, and lastly, and what we're going to be reviewing today is a flashlight. This one is an Olight S1 Baton. Um, it's pretty awesome. It's what made me uh, think about doing a, a video review on it. It's a uh, very small, compact, and for the price point, it's uh, it's pretty pretty sweet. And we'll go over the details. Originally, before uh, I carried around. The Streamlight Stylus Pro. Again, notice it's small, it's like a pen, um, and it's very simple in use. I like simplicity. I don't want something to get overly complicated for use, you know. This one's just a momentary switch. If you want to keep it on, just press it harder, it's a push button. And the S1 baton is very similar, but the button's on top, because on the end cap, one of my favorite details about it is it's got a magnetic end cap, so you can stick it places like if you're working on your car, stick it on your hood or somewhere, obviously metal, where it'll stick steel most likely. And uh, it's like having an extra pair of hands or an extra set of hands ready to work instead of trying to fumble with the, your hand with the flashlight or have it in your mouth. But even with these guys, you could use your mouth to hold it, you know, even though it's not desirable to do it that way. Um, so yeah, I mean, at first, I didn't know very much reason to carry a flashlight, and it's not until you start carrying one every day where you find out how useful it is. Um, and so now all my family members, friends, they always, when we're out and it's dark out, or if they need a flashlight, they always call me my name and say, hey, Brian, can I see your flashlight? So from that point, I've always had one on me, and it's and they've been super useful. I mean, this thing's, I've had it for three years. Pretty durable, I mean, the only, um, wear on is like around the bezel up there and then the tail cap um i know i'm saying i was gonna do a review on this one baton but this thing for 20 bucks is pretty awesome too the only drawback is this flimsy little belt loop or belt clip they bend out and this thing falls out of your pocket sometimes i've lost it a couple of times but luckily i've traced my steps back and found it again but uh all right, I'm going to show you a couple flashlights real quick for to compare next to the S1 Baton. I've already shown you the Streamlight. Next to the Olight, you can see the difference. This one's kind of like a pen, long and thin. I'm going to flash it on the wall behind me real quick. Obviously, it's not as bright as you can you think in the dark because it's still kind of bright out, but that's 90 lumens of light. It's still plenty of bright at night, even if, uh, let's say, you're walking out to your car and you see a stranger by your car in a poorly lit parking lot, you can light them up in the face, temporarily blinding the person if it's someone that you don't plan on having around your car. I'll give you a couple extra seconds to react to do whatever you need to do. For example, flee, run away, which is usually what I would recommend. Uh, don't want to start any uh, altercations with that guy. But um, so again, that's 90 lumens. Um, brought out this other light sorry it's i got too lazy to take the mount off of it but this is a surefire uh i believe it's a g2 popular but this thing's massive right you don't want to be carrying this thing in your pocket but some people do again next to the o light you can see the size comparison this thing's huge but this thing puts out bright lights 320 lumens and you can see how big bright that is again the operation on this one's the same momentary and then push to stay on um, 
I was going to use this as like a shop light, but it's a pretty durable light and I just decided to keep it as a weapon light to put on one of my rifles or shotguns. So that's a dedicated light for that. So now I'm going to show you the O light. Sorry if it's not flashing, but um, the first is a low setting, which is 80 lumens. So it's similar to the stream light. So it's usually not too bright where it's going to blind you when you're trying to look for something. The high mode is 500 lumens. Um, it's pretty bright, it's clean, but compared to say the G2 Surefire, the G2 Surefire has a very bright center spot. So I don't know like if this 320 lumens is brighter than the 500 lumens, but regardless, it's still very bright. And then from here, it also has a strobe feature and it's kind of hard to get to. You have to triple click it after it's on. There you go. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to use a strobe feature, but I guess for uh, personal safety reasons, again, it, it could come in handy, but it's so difficult to get to. I don't know if uh, you're going to have time to do that, but if you can, figure out how to operate it well enough to get to that strobe. It's very disorienting if you've ever seen a strobe light or had a look at one. It uh, could be beneficial. Um, uh, when I do the camera view to the desktop, I'll show you another light mode. It's called a moonlight, and it's, it's pretty neat. It's very low. It's like half a lumen, and it's just enough so you can see when you're where you're walking at night so you don't trip over your dog or some shoes and it's it's pretty neat and all you do is just hold on to the button for a second and it comes on um i'll see if i can do it on my hand there oops see i mean it's kind of hard to see but it's very dim so again, when it comes to your everyday carry flashlight, you just want something simple. Like, and again, I've had this one for three years and it's super easy to use. It's just a push button, um, tail cap button. Um, and for $20, you really can't go wrong with this flashlight. And it only takes two AAA batteries. The only thing that I really don't like about this is this belt clip. You know, usually I just slide it inside my pocket, but this clip is so flimsy. Like I've had to bend it numerous times to keep this tension. Like usually I have to pull this off the flashlight, bend it past this point so it sticks firm. But um, if this doesn't stick tight, this thing falls out of your pocket quite often and it gets irritating. But that's the only drawback. Other than that, this thing's pretty sweet. And for the S1 baton, let's go to the belt clip. Um, it's definitely a more heavy duty belt clip. You don't have to worry it falling about your pocket, but let me show you something here real quick. This part right here kind of sucks because when your pocket comes in, it gets snagged right there so it doesn't fully seat. Um, if I were to tell Olight to change something, it definitely would be that and this little bump right there but i'm not going to complain a whole lot because it's a lot better than the streamlight one um i've also seen like you can use this to hook basically anywhere you can put a put on the bill of your hat um hang it off your t-shirt off a chain uh, another feature that this light has is this end cap it's uh metal i don't know if i have let's see So, if you're working on your car, you can stick it on a fender or the hood. Um, it's pretty awesome. It's like probably my favorite feature of this light, other than the size. Um, this takes what's called a CR123 battery, just one of them. Um, I think you can put uh, rechargeables in here as well but these are cheap enough where you can just keep buying the, the lithiums um, overall finish of this light is pretty nice uh, the knurling is enough to not slip out of your hands 
Um, the button's got a little bit ru of a rubber feature or texture to it. So the features are the light modes. It said it had four modes in the instructions, but I only can figure out three of them, which is fine. Like I said, I just want simplicity. So you click the button on once, it goes to the last mode you had it on. This is the medium. Um, if you do it twice real quick, it's the very bright mode, which is the 500 lumens. And I don't know if this will pick up on the camera, but this is the moonlight mode. See that? It's actually pretty neat. Pretty useful. I've got to use it quite a few times, which I didn't think I would have to. The problem is if you've never used a flashlight or had one for EDC, you can't just go out and get one that's like, say, 700 lumens in just that one mode. Because if you're using it to find something, like they are so bright the reflection is almost blinding so it's nice to have the lower modes um, and that's what this offers has the 80 lumen the 500 lumen and the half lumen mode uh, and again the strobe strobe they say when it's on and you triple click it from here oh, there you go but see that's pretty complicated i don't know if you're going to be able to do that under duress if you actually needed to strobe someone <laughs> So just having a bright light is beneficial. So again, I mean, if you're looking to uh, add to your uh, everyday carry uh, and you're looking for a flashlight, I highly recommend this S1 Baton. They also make a rechargeable version of this. So I think, I want to say it's like $30 more and it has a, a magnetic base like charging cap on it. Um, and it's got one more brighter mode, which is like 900 lumens, and it's called the S1R. I'll put a link um, to both of them in the description, and you can find it on Amazon. This one, I believe, goes for 45 bucks. Sometimes they go on sale. I got this one on sale, but I don't know how often they go on sale. And then again, the S1R is probably about $30 more. The Streamlight is about 20 bucks takes two triple A's uh, both of them batteries aren't included so you have to make sure you buy batteries um, probably not interested in the surefire but disregard the mount it's a very large battery or a very large flashlight it takes two of those CR123 batteries um, it's got some weight to it but um, those go for like 60 bucks uh, I can put a link to that too but again if you want to know more about that, there's plenty of videos on uh, YouTube uh, reviewing that light. Um, again, so thanks for following the channel. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and post uh, below. Uh, if you like the video, give, give it a like and uh, subscribe if you want to see future videos. Um, again, on the progress on the truck, I am looking at the different uh, front end options and once i get that going i'll uh, post videos on that so again thank you